Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, welcome. My name is Amanda, and I am so excited to have you here. Today, we are going to be jumping right into getting this house clean and giving you guys some cleaning motivation as I clean up our house and just creating a clean and peaceful space for our family to enjoy living in. But before we get started, I would love if you would leave me a comment below. Just let me know what you're up to or what you have planned for later today. I always love connecting with you guys in the comments and just getting to know you guys a little bit better. But without further ado, let's get to cleaning. So the first thing we are doing is just unloading the dishwasher and I am having the boys help me out with this. Luke was actually at school during this time and it looks like Liam has not gotten ready for the day, but he was actually home from school at this point and he had pajama day at school. So it was kind of funny because I felt like he did not look like he was ready for the day, but he was actually already dressed and had come home from school and he just ended up staying in his pajamas all day long. Like what you get in, you can't get enough, can't get enough. On this day, I was not doing a full cleanup in the kitchen right at first because I am just kind of tidying up my space so that I can start cooking lunch for myself and the boys. So this is just the apple cider Mrs. Myers spray. And I was actually curious if you guys have tried out the snowdrop, I believe is what it's called. A few of you have recommended it to me. You found it at your local targets. I don't think that Grove has it yet, but I actually found it at my local target and I really like the scent, but I cannot figure out for the life of me what it smells like. So if you have tried out that scent, let me know if you like it. And also if you have any idea how to explain what it smells like, let me know because Kyle and I were smelling it the other day and we cannot figure it out, but it smells really good inside your love inside your love we'll move on i no worries no doubts this is my time to make you This is one of my favorite go-to lunches and honestly one of my favorite dinners as well. It is just some salmon burgers. You can get these from pretty much any local grocery store, but I love getting mine from Costco. Next, I'm just making the world's easiest smoothie. I am just putting a banana, some ice cubes, some frozen mixed fruit, and then filling it up with water depending on how thick or thin I want it. And then I'm also going to be adding in some smoothie protein powder. This is of course optional. And if I did have greens on hand like spinach or kale, I would have added those in as well. But this is one of our favorite go-to smoothies.
So once we are done eating lunch, I just started getting right to the dishes and getting everything put into the dishwasher and anything else hand washed. As you saw, I do like to try to clean up as I cook. I don't always get to clean everything up while I'm cooking, but I usually do my best to kind of clean as I go and it just makes the whole process go so much quicker. Now that the dishes are done, I am just doing a very, very quick wipe down of the counter once again and just the stove as well, just to make sure that I got everything cleaned off from lunch. And then I'm also going over the chairs just with a really quick wipe down and making sure that I got anything off from breakfast and lunch because I usually don't wipe the chairs down after breakfast just because I know we will be eating on here in just a few hours. So I just wanted to make sure to get that wiped down while I had everything taken out. Next, I just wanted to clean up my table and I had a box of these plums that we actually got to pick when we were up at my mom's house in Montana. And then I also wanted to show you guys really quick the oils that I use. I get questions about the oils that I use all the time and so I wanted to mention that I use Simply Earth oils. This is not sponsored or anything. I actually used to use doTERRA oils and I really, really love them. However, they are a bit pricier and because they were getting so pricey, I was starting to feel that I would have to start getting a lower quality oil in order to afford them. And so once I found Simply Earth through one of my friends, I have just been hooked on their oils. I feel like they have such great quality but they are also very affordable. So I will have a link down below if you guys want to check them out, but you can also order them on Amazon as well. I just cannot say enough good things about this company and these oils. I'm just tidying things up and then also folding some clothes that I had recently washed. As you can imagine, my boys are just growing out of so many clothes. I feel like every two months, they are just needing a full set of new clothes. They are growing like crazy. And with that, it's becoming so expensive to have to buy new clothes all the time. And I just kind of hate buying new clothes when they are only gonna wear them for a short amount of time or when they are going to wear them and wear them out really quick. So I ended up getting almost all of these clothes from the thrift store and I am telling you, I saved so much money this way. So I really urge you to go check out your thrift store if your kids are needing new clothes. You do have to look a little bit harder when you go there, but it's so worth it when you can find some really good deals. Good time.
Moving upstairs, at this time you can see Luke has gotten home from school and usually I will have the boys clean this space up themselves because I do feel like they are pretty much responsible to do that since they are the ones creating the mess in here. But we did have cousins and family over and so I know that this mess was so much. And so I feel like if I sent them in there to do this all on their own, they would just become so overwhelmed and I don't think that it would end up getting clean very well. But usually when I'm in there cleaning, they're also right alongside me just kind of helping out and I'm kind of there to help guide them and just kind of help encourage them to keep going. And that's just the way it works really well for us. Also, while we were cleaning up the toys, I noticed they had a ton of cars, way, way more than they need, and we really should have gotten rid of even more, but I just wanted to do a quick declutter. I will do like one or two big declutters in the playroom each year with them, and that definitely helps keep the toys a little bit more manageable, but once in a while when I notice one bin is kind of overflowing a little bit, I will just take a few minutes with the boys and have them kind of pick out their favorite items, and I also feel that that kind of makes it easier for them to let go of toys because they are doing it more regularly. So usually my kids don't have a big issue getting rid of most toys. There are some that are really special to them and of course I'll let them keep those ones. But for the most part, they are pretty easy to let things go. And I think it's because we declutter on somewhat of a regular basis. Moving back downstairs into my bedroom, I just needed to make my bed for the day. Yes, I had not gotten around to making my bed. I'm just trying to kind of figure out exactly how to manage working at home full time and also being a stay at home mom. I know that for us, September was so incredibly busy and during the summer, you kind of let go of a lot of routines. So we have been kind of struggling to get back into them and I feel like I kind of slowly am, but there's definitely some emphasis on slowly. So slowly but surely, we will be figuring this out. Because I was working earlier in the morning before I started filming and cleaning the house, I needed to get some laundry done. I just had not had the chance to put our load in for the day. And so I wanted to get that in now. And I'm also going to let you guys know because I get a lot of questions about this, that I am using my homemade laundry detergent. I do have a video on that. If you have not watched that or tried it out, I will leave an iCard up above for you guys so you guys can go ahead and check that out. And I also have that one always linked in my description box just because I get so many questions about it. You say you are better safe than sorry Cause you're too scared to hit the ground Might seem dark but you know that I'm honest Might look broke but you know I can solve it Do you care about me cause you're lonely Cause I'm the only one around I don't wanna be a blanket That you wrap around to forget about Too late. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this gave you some serious cleaning motivation. If you guys cleaned along with me, let me know in the comments what all you got done during the time that you were watching this video. And if you guys are just about to get started, then leave a comment letting me know what you are going to be working on so that I can encourage you and build you up. I know I tell you guys all the time, but I am so thankful for this community and I'm so thankful for all of the love and support that you guys constantly give me. And I just want to always be giving that back to you guys. And I also wanted to let you know that on Monday, I am going to be having a really exciting new video. Make sure that your notification bells are on because there will be a giveaway right in the beginning of that video. I do not want you guys to miss out on. It's just for the first hour, so I want to make sure that you guys don't miss out on that. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already. I would love to have you join my YouTube family, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.